so let's talk about um the subset so here's a question for you if a is a subset of b then simplify the following we have part one a intersection b part two a union b part three a complement union b complement part four a complement intersection b complement part five a complement union b part six a intersection b complement so what does it mean when we say a is a subset of b so when we say a is a subset of b meaning a is found in b okay that is very very important as long as you know that a when they say a is a subset of b then you know that a is found in b then you are home and dry so it is very much important for us to use a venn diagram a venn diagram is going to help us to to simplify these sets okay so let's come up with a venn diagram okay so here is my venn diagram i'll just have a simple one so we are saying that um, this is set b since we are saying that a is found in b so here is a uh, set e. So we're going to say that this is set B. So set B is big. Then you have got another set inside e, B, which is set A. So I'm going to put this as set A. So allow me to put the numbers. I'm going to say that I have 1, I have 2, then the inverse, so I'm going to have 3. Now we can start simplifying these sets. So we have uh, part A. So I'm going first to list the members of A. We know that the members of A is just 1. What about the members of B? The members of B is 1 and 2. So we want to find, we are talking about this part 1, A intersection B. So we are talking about, we want to find the numbers which are found both in A and B. As we can see, it's just 1. But 1 is the same as A. Okay? So A intersection B is going to be equal to A. Because we know that 1 is the same as A. So the answer is A. Okay, let's go to um, let's go to part um, part two, which is saying A union B. We want to simplify this. So A union B is just a matter of us adding the numbers which are in A. We put them together, A and B, which is going to be one two. Okay, but we know that one two is the same as just B from here. From here we can see that 1, 2 is the same as just what? B. Meaning that A union B is just basically B. Okay. Let's go to part 3. So part 3, we have A complement, union B complement. Okay. So now we are going first to list the element of A complement. So A complement is just basically 2, comma 3. Okay, we have, we're just excluding the 1. So it's 2 and 3, that is A complement. What of B complement? So B complement is going to be, we have, um, A is uh, in B, 2 is in B, so it's only 3. Okay, so we are trying to add the numbers. So if we are to add the numbers, we're going to see that we're going to have 2 and 3. But what is 2 and 3? 2 and 3 is just basically the same as A complement. So we can conclude to say A complement, union B complement, is just basically A complement. As simple as that. Okay. Again, we have another question, which is um, part 4, which is saying A complement, intersection B complement. So what is A complement? Okay, A complement is 2 and 3. So we have 2, 3. That is A complement. B complement is just basically 3. So we want to, to, to see the numbers which are found both in a, a complement and B complement. It's just 3. But 3 is the same as B complement. So A intersection B complement is just basically B complement. Okay, we are just trying to make these sets to be simple. So we have um, 
part 5. Part 5 is asking us to simplify A complement union B. So what are we going to, to have? So our A complement, let's start with A complement from the uh, Venn diagram which we have. We can see that our A complement is what? Our A complement is 2, comma 3. What over our B? Our B is a... Uh, our b is 1 comma 2 so we are trying just to to put this element together so it's going to be 1 2 3 so we have this is going to give us 1 2 3 but 1 2 3 is the same as the inverse so we can see that a complement union b is going to give us the inverse set as simple as that we have the last question which is saying a intersection B complement okay so A intersection B complement what are we going to have we have A intersection B complement so what is our A okay our A is 1 what is our B complement our B complement is um, 3 because 1 is found in B 2 is found in B so we're excluding B so the numbers which are found both in A and B complement is just basically the empty set. There is no any number. Okay, so it's empty set. So this is how you need to work out uh, some problems involving uh, the subset. So if they say A is a subset of B, just know that A is found in B. If they say B is a subset of A, meaning B is found in A. Okay.